did it. You did your solar plexus class with me. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you took away some tools and you at least walked away with a meditation and some reflection and some release and empowering um, mantras and thoughts and intentions you are wanting to set with your life. Oh, give yourself a round of applause. You should be so proud of yourself. Self-care, the spiritual journey, oh, all of it is so much work and it is balance and it's all the little things. And so you should totally be proud of yourself and really go set the goals and um, create your self-care plan for yourself. Um, and just really be conscious, take big baby steps and break it down. And it doesn't even have to be all in one day or one week or one month. Just, you know, take it as it comes and listen to your intuition on what you need. You are amazing. You are a beautiful soul. Um, thank you for joining this class. Um, the heart chakra class will be posting in, um, August of 2019 in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for those videos. I will be posting other classes that you can take um, and really tapping into your power. So go ahead and do that. Um, I'll also put references to get your own oils. I do want to point out one thing I forgot, that if you do use any of the citrus oils that are good for your solar plexus, they do cause sun sensitivity. So you can sunburn. They're great for your skin. So I mean, a lot of people use them for their skin. So um, just be careful to not put them on your face early in the day um, cause it can give you sunburn. So especially with the solar plexus, use them, you know, under your clothes and heavily dilute them and you should be good with that. Like I said, I'll be leaving some more links to other classes that I've created. If you are in the Missoula area, I do women's circles. So if you want to commune with other women on this journey, like, ah, message me, you can find me on my website, www.mandalasoulschoolblog.com, or you can just send me a, a direct message via Facebook or Instagram. Um, I will be posting um, a, a link for the Slipstream Cups. And like I said, if you want to get your oils in your starter kit and do the rest of this series or backtrack to the root chakra or sacral classes, you can totally do it. Um, like I said, that book was um, releasing emotional patterns with oils by Carolyn Mine. Some of this anatomy and physiology stuff is from Trail Guide uh, to the Body by Andrew Beale. I used this book through Massage School, all about kinesiology and the muscles. The graphics are amazing. If you totally are like a kinesiology and anatomy geek, this book is amazing. Um, they have flashcards to even help learn some of those things. Um, and yeah, there's tons of different resources. So totally take advantage. If you feel like you just need someone to witness you, if you want a dear sister to hold you and bear witness to the stuff that you're going through and learning and processing and healing, there is power in someone witnessing you. I do do one-on-one -on -one mentoring, whether it's guided meditation work, um, getting a self-care plan for your healing practice. Like I can help you set those goals. Um, I do angel cards, um, spiritual therapy sessions, chakra healing, just a bunch of different things. I have a lot of different resources to empower the goddess within you, even just goddess art to set out in front of your space to like really set the intentions to live that beautiful queen that's within you. So yes, take um, seize all these opportunities, take your power and like really go after some opportunities. The universe might be dropping in your lap for your own self-care practice. You are the leader of your own life. You can decide what you need. And before we close, I just want to read, um, one little card from the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. This beautiful card is a remembrance of the sun this beautiful goddess, if you can't see with the glare, is holding a beautiful bouquet of flowers, the sun around her, she's just glowing. <clears throat> sun. 
this card can represent beautiful abundance. The key word to this card is abundance. At this time, everything is possible and everything I need to know and do is illuminated. My projects, my dreams, my aspirations will come into fruition. Relationships will flourish and my growth, your growth, your healing, your intentions, sweet sister is assured you're going down this beautiful healing journey. Not everybody's ready for it. If you're watching this video, it's because you're ready for it. You can tap into this moment and know that your soul is meant to do great things. Your inner goddess is in this magical time of history. So just harness your power and know that your growth is assured. You are here for many, many reasons. This is a time of plenty. Bless your life as a time of plenty. It's important to share your abundance with others, share your healing with others, share your tools, your voice, your intuition, your thoughts, all the wisdom you've gathered, share it, pay it forward, and just harness that beautiful feeling of gratitude within you, sisters. Just bless this area, bless that belly, bless your solar plexus, and dare to be happy. Dare, I dare you to go and find your joy. I dare you to go step out of your box, go do something new, find a new hobby, find a new book, find a new friend, find something new to just really spark the motivation and the dream within you, really tapping into that inner goddess and go play, go play. If there's any message that Solar Plexus has for you is to go play, go have fun, go laugh, go be silly, go create, go, go, go. And just may all the suns bless you and may the sun within you shine and you are amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to all of my words and my ramblings and my heart. And I so bless your journey and hope that this gives you, gives you something gives you something to just a seed to just love and take care of yourself and please join me for the rest of the series and go take care of yourself i love you friends have a beautiful day thank you bye see you soon